Hey, this is a multi-part series and I have linked part number one in the video description down below. Oh, and if you want to follow along, you go to procurementzen.com slash digital where you can download the resources, chat with fellow students. And by the way, it's completely free. So let's start with video. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the NIME visual language. NIME inherits or has a very strong visual language. And in this and the next video, we talk about the key concepts of that visual language. So this lesson of the course covers the node colors. You already know what a node in NIME is, so let's have a look at the colors of the nodes and what they mean. So let's have a look at the first group of nodes that are important in NIME, and those are the read nodes. You already know from the exercise we did in module one, the Excel reader, and read nodes are orange. So you see here the Excel reader node in this example, an orange node, and we're going to talk about the ports, etc. a little bit later on, but also about the traffic, load, uh, traffic lights. Also, the second group of nodes that are extremely important, if not most important, as, at least for our use case, are the transform nodes. So we have covered things like the column filter. And finally, the last group of nodes that we're going to talk about and that we're going to cover in this course are the deploy nodes and we know from the previous example already the Excel writer. One thing you might remember from the previous lesson is the concept of ETL, extract, transform, load. And this is also in the node coloring as you can see here. Read could be also read as an extraction node, transform basically stays the same and deploy can also be understood as a load node. One additional group of nodes that we're going to cover in this course are brown nodes. For example, in the advanced module, we're going to talk about flow variables and what they are, don't worry about it now, but they have a different color. Further down the road in your journey with NIME, we also have some different uh, colors, but these are not part of this course yet. If you're interested in visualization, just let me know in the comments below this lesson and we make sure we set something up for you here. So see you in the next lesson. If you want to go to the first part of this online course, click this video. And here is just another video that shows you some very funny stuff you can do with NIME. Oh, and if you want to download the resources and chat with fellow students, just go here to this page over at procurementzen.com.